Hello and welcome to the Second Illini Disc Golf Podcast. I am joined by... Caleb Martin. Daniel Dravitt. Nick Buddycomb. And I'm Dalton Hastings. Yes, you are. Let's get into it. Yeah. So we actually do have a schedule for today. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Look getting, at us. Getting better at this as time goes on. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to start off with what we call the DGDD. The <laughs> the, all, we love unnecessary acronyms. The Disc Golf Disses Draft. So like what you would say to someone to kind of be mean, like kind of crap talking. Specifically uh, condescending. Condescending I think is, is, the, what is the right word. That was what a big we're kind of going for. Yeah. And then we're going to go for our picks for like who we think is going to perform really well at Nationals, potentially win. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the courses that we're playing for Nationals because that is seven days away. Oh, my goodness. That's exactly one week. timer up again? Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. We oh, should, the, the Liberty Disc Golf timer. The, the Liberty Disc Golf timer Shout out their on. website again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, shout out their website. Awesome. So, Dan, uh, why don't you uh, explain the We're rules We're getting into the draft. this draft? Yeah, All right. It. So, here are the rules of the draft. We're each going to be taking three terms, three, three, three main terms, one bench term. All right. And uh, we're then going to have you guys... Uh, say in the comments who you think's got the best roster. Mm-hmm. Um, did, we, did we did we figure out how we're doing it for? All right, we'll just you know, just go this way, then just go right. Yeah. All right. With and and be sure to write down your picks. Also, all it's, right? it's snake draft style. So I go first, but whoever is going fourth, you think two in a row? You think we go snake? I think it's a snake. It's got to be. be. I think that's all right. Let's go snake. This is a we'll top go, heavy no, draft. You're right. We will. You're right. You're right. And I think there is a clear number one pick, and I'm, I am interested to see oh, if no. you pick it. So That makes me very scared. No, everyone just be sure to write down your picks, too. I'm not All a right, draft no. pro here, so snake, does that mean the link? So we're picking, like, more each time we go through here? So it'll go It'll go Dalton, Caleb, me, you twice, okay. and then back to me. Oh, I see. Then That's back exactly. to Caleb, then back. Dalton. Or wait, can I choose when I pick? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> just, we, did, we didn't have. Like, I, let's just go. Trading. Let's just go in order. Let's like just go. That. Let's just go. Dalton, think, Caleb, me, Nick, yeah, then Dalton. Back I like to Dalton. that a lot. So, with the first pick in the draft, who do you have, Dalton? So, I this I tell, put a lot of thought into this. Okay. I really, I think I am picking one that you guys do not agree with. Okay. And I'm gonna go. You're still out. That's oh, solid. Yeah. That's pretty classic. I, I, I no, I, I wasn't that, expecting I mean, it. I think you're leaving off the clear number one pick for me. If you're talking nice, I yeah, think so like too. Yeah. But I, th- I think so too. Listen, here's my justification. You're still out. I mean, what's more demoralizing than playing a sanctioned tournament? Someone parked it for yeah. birdie, and you're putting for par from farther than their birdie putt. No, it's cold. So you can only do one stroke worse than them at best. No, it's it's a good pick. No, absolutely. But yeah. is it the best? I don't know. Probably not. Caleb, because here is the best pick. Nice layup. I think nice layup is nice so good. Layup. Dude, I, with a nice layup after running something as hard as you could just feels horrible. It, Do you have a lot of experience with it, that? It so <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to be real. Nice nice layup was like absolutely the first thing I was going to pick. That's crazy. I, I, I am I shocked. That for me. I know. I think I think it's a little it's a little crazy that that was that was left on the table. Um third pick, you guys ready for it? Yep. Yeah. I'm taking smart play. All right, because Ooh. whenever someone says says smart play, it means they don't have the shot. You know, like, <laughs> like 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 smart play is like, oh, it's really smart because you can't get there. Yeah. All right, so you I'm I'm taking smart potential. play. S M A R T. Way to spell, Nick. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the fourth um, pick in the draft. You know, maybe this is just this is a personal favorite to go with. You mm-hmm. know, but like uh, I I really like to you know call this one out when somebody. Looks like they tried to run it, but I'll give them, oh, good soft bid. Good, yeah. yeah, good soft, good soft bid. bid. <laughs> good, so, so good soft bid. Not even good bid, just soft bid. <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 I fully yeah. expected that to be in the top five picks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. should definitely say Nick did created his list five minutes before the start. So <laughs> that is definitely true. That is a disadvantage true. compared he, to He us. is. We've been, we've been cooking. We've been cooking, <laughs> we've been cooking all day, yeah. Uh, Dalton, round no. two. Uh, snake draft style. Snake draft. We're Nick, going, we, we are going snake. the fourth and fifth pick. All right. All right, Nick, I oh, mean. That loops right back to me? Yes. Oh, loops right, right, right back right. to you. All right. I, you know, I had a couple here that I, that I was struggling between, you know, trying to get the rest of my order, you know, trying to build the team strong here. But <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to go with one that, you know, when you're maybe back at the tee. I had a putting one, now to have a tee one. Yeah. And a, I like to go with the uh, almost hit the line. That's oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. It's, again, it's a classic, you know. No, it is know, a classic. And, and it's, you know, but you can definitely play it off and be like, mm-hmm. the, oh, I really do feel for you. You almost hit the line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're, just, <laughs> you're just not good you know. enough. <laughs> that, I, I mean, the classics go early for a reason. <laughs> you know course. what I'm saying? They right. it, it happens that way. Um, so that goes to me then, right? Yep. yep. All right. I, I, I've i got one that when, when people say this to me, it, it kills me. <laughs> I got that disc looks stable. Oh. <laughs> so basically they're calling they're you calling a, me a noodle. Yeah. They're calling me a noodle. Because oh. when someone says that disc looks stable, I 
it's a turn. Does it hurt? You know, it's, it's always like, it's like a turn. I'm throwing like a forehand turn. width. They're like, wow, good flat to hyzer. I'm like, that's a negative three. <laughs> like, it's a halo turn. turn. Disc. Good yeah. In my bag. So I think I, I, I'm honestly shocked that that disc look stable was left on the field for my second pick. I, 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 don't, I don't know what you guys are Some doing. Some of us don't have that issue, so it's a lot oh. harder. To, so you've never, you've never heard that? I mean, I definitely have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb, next, next pick. All right, I've got... Way to save a bogey. Ooh, <laughs> that's tough. Uh, yeah. Good bogeys. That implied yeah. that could have been even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Truth, yeah. Truth, yeah. No, that's that's brutal. I, I think that was picked right right at about the right spot. Exactly. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. It's kind of funny. Sliding to me in the second round. Whenever they go like commentary like Jomez, they're like, Oh, what a bogey save. And you're like, Really? <laughs> <laughs> Still a bogey, dog. It is. No, like you <laughs> saved a stroke, I guess, but I mean, sure. So I, I get two picks now. You do get Ooh. two picks here. Um, scary position to put them in. I do have the longest list of... Uh, <laughs> of uh, <laughs> so bad. Uh, <laughs> so I I like this one. I think foot fault is just funny in general. Foot fault's good. Yeah. Like just messing with someone's head. Sure. Um, a lot of times people will ask like, oh, am I out? And I'm like, no, I'll say yes. And then they make it. I'm like, foot fault. Because no, they, didn't, they didn't walk it off, like you know. Yeah, it's more of a raz that. I, I was going to say, I you know? feel like that that might fit better in our future razes draft. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's an, I think it's an okay pick. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. I, I, okay I like pick. it. I like it. Uh, <laughs> and your second pick. My second pick is a great question. Um, I mean, you kind of already picked noodle, so yeah, did pick noodle. Well, you said that just looks stable, so I'm not, I'm not going to go there. No. Um, I think I'm going to go. Pin high, like at least you're pin oh, high. Yeah, you know, pin high is actually like I think that's yeah. a good. And one. How thirty many, feet left? Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's like sixty <laughs> feet left. <laughs> but at least you're pin high. Yeah, like I, I think pin high is one of the most diabolical. That's things actually you a really say, good pick. Actually. Third round. Yeah, I, I know. Solid. Like people say that to me all the time, and I'm like, that was so bad. You, you can be <laughs> nowhere near a birdie and still be like, yeah, pin high. Yeah. Pin high. Or dude. just behind like a row of trees. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Caleb, right. your your third pick in the draft. What do you got? Oh, I'm actually between two here. Uh, I'm going to go with, if only it missed that tree, when it smacks oh. a tree straight <laughs> on. Oh. Never had a chance going everywhere. Like, anywhere else, just smacks it. It's out of the hand. It is tracking <laughs> exactly. that tree But if only it missed time. it, right, guys? Dude, if only. If <laughs> only it missed it. <laughs> if only. That's a, solid, that's a solid pick. I'm actually surprised that that one was not picked earlier. That's a Towering Oaks line right there. <laughs> that is, that is, that's something you say at the Towering Oaks. Shout out our coverage. <laughs> All right. my uh, watch that. My third play, or my, my third pick, is, is going to have to be that really got through. Because yeah. it's like I'm like like I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> shooting for it to kind of kind of get a little li- yeah. get a little break here, but th- they're then kind of just saying it's like, well, that was all luck, <laughs> you know? It's like no, no, no. I'm 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 shooting this line, and I I am tactfully thinking about the lines that it could potentially get through, and I meant to take that one. Mm-hmm. Sure, so yeah, I like that. So, That's a good so I'm the one I, saying that to you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I I think that really got through. Is I think oh. I think it's a solid one. Yeah. Nick, for your, right. your you know, my, third pick? I, I think I feel like it got a little bit snaked there that, uh, you know, Caleb came in and took the, because mine was very adjacent with a, with a tree oh, yeah. comment, yeah. you know, and so I'm not sure if I can still pull that one off or not. So I'm yeah. going to have to go to my bench pick here. <laughs> um, but uh, but coming up here, I just went with, uh, you know, kind of a classic, very guttural feeling for me. Yeah. It's just a, a good old oof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oof. Oof. How that. was oof still on the board? Oh, I don't know. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I think that you know going to be around me. I might still have to pull out you know what I got left here for my for my tree reference as we come back around because I guess I, I have to go a second time. I guess too, you huh? do you have do. to go so right to now. Out, yeah. So. Okay. I guess it's different enough here. You know, because mm. it's actually I put in here. It's got a slash. It could be branch or tree. You yeah. Know, but uh, just kind of a, just reached out and grabbed it. Mm. Like a, yeah. um, mm. So a good branch yeah. grabbed it. Tree just reached out and grabbed it. Iron yeah. branch. Yeah. Iron it's one leaf. of those like you're trying to blame nature for something that right, clearly right, is right. your fault. Yeah. They're like know, it, so. it, it reached out. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know there's what to nothing say. You done about it. <laughs> exactly. I um, I have a great pick, okay. and I I've I've I'm known that this. you guys were not gonna think of this one, but this is this is one I pull out all the time. Oh no. Way to divide the hole in half. Yeah, oh. that's a good one. Like when someone, yeah, that's like when a nice someone, layup. Exactly. Like a 300 foot hole, someone turfs their drive. They're about 150. You say, <laughs> way to dissect the hole. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. really, really mm-hmm. way to cut it in half. Making it more manageable. Making it more manageable. I, I think that is. That is an underrated pick, I think, in the fourth round. It is. I, you, you've said that to me a couple times, and it, I mean, it's crushed me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really crushed that's me. Because you hit it with me first. <laughs> where <laughs> I learned it from. <laughs> yeah, I am where you learned oh, it from. God. All right, so that's. That's those are my four. Nick, right. your four is completed as well, yeah. I believe. That's my four. Caleb, for your final pick. I think I also have a great fourth pick. Really? 
Way to take your medicine. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That hurts. That's a good one. That uh, hurts. You yeah, know you got yourself though. in a tough spot there <laughs> whenever people are saying that to you. Just or saying it to yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That You're hurts just, even worse. Yeah, that yeah. is brutal. Wow. That's, I can't believe that was still out there. I know, right? Man, Poor there's time. so many out there because we play so many rounds. It's just hard to think of them all. And, and we're always saying this to each we other. We are. Exactly. You know what's what I always hear you say? What? Hate to see it. Hate to oh. see it. I do, <laughs> I do say it. hate to see it a lot. But uh, I think I'm going to go a little more to round out my superstar team. Yeah, the final course. pick yeah, in the draft. Final really. pick. I really want to go like just a little comical one. Just like, you know, uh, mm-hmm. I, nice putt, Princess Leia. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, or Prince Layup, whatever you want to sure, do, yeah. whatever yeah. you want to do. Um, I have been, I mean, we've played a lot of rounds. So we've all ran putts that you're like, oh, I definitely got the nose down on that. It just yeah. turfs it, and it's like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so that's the draft. Yeah. Um, Dalton, would you would you mind rattling off your four real quick for, sure. the, for the audience? What we're, what we're trying to do here is kind of kind of gauge what you guys think. What, who do you guys think has the strongest lineup here? Uh, we're going to need you guys to vote in the comments. Just just 100%. tell us. Tell us who's got it. Which, more importantly, which ones did we leave out? Yes. All right. Which, which ones out. did we not pick? Which ones were picked out of order? So, Dalton, give us that layout. I'm going to get so much heat for my first overall pick. But uh, <laughs> I start off with you're still out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Footfall. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pin high. Mm-hmm. And then uh, finish it out with nice putt, Princess Layup. Yeah, nice. I mean, that's that's There's a solid group right there. A deep solid. roster. Yeah, really. Yeah, absolutely. Caleb, All what right. do you got? I got nice layup, perfect. Uh, yeah, I think that's a great first. Move. That's a classic. Exactly. And then way to take their medicine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then way to save a bogey. And then if only it missed that tree. That's a good one. That is such a good. Yeah, one. that's that's a good one coming in clutch at the end exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> All right, my my layout here, and I gotta say, I really think that that these guys on the team all really work together to, to create something that you can really, really throw <laughs> condescending at someone. Uh, obviously, I had first up there, smart play. I mean, t- come on, classic. Uh, then we had that disc looks stable, um, followed by that really got through. A- and, and to cap it off, way to dissect the hole. I mean, really, I think a group of dynamic players that can work well together on their yeah. team. So, Nick, what do you got for your layout? Yeah, yeah. I mean, your last one there really uh, reminds me of like a, a classic, you know, player from back in the day of forward progress. You know, that's another one <laughs> that's, that we missed I, that you one. Know, yeah, I, we I did. Yeah. Like, you know, but you know, the, yeah, that's you know, moving on. You got the younger players, like you're mentioning there. Yeah. That's like the whole is kind of your new iteration. It's more the pro play. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, running down my list there, we had the, the good soft bid. Uh, it almost hit the line. Mm. Just an oof. <laughs> and, uh, I love the oof. And, and then, of course, you know, again, similar player, but, you know, we all need that utility man of a, of a, a branch tree just reached out and grabbed it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, those are good picks. No, I mean, those are solid. I mean, oof really feels bad. It's going to be a good one year on the team, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be carrying it the way, but I think we got some good uh, some rookies in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely, like, I made this list way too long. I completely blanked. Do you want to throw out some honorable mentions, I mean, Dalton? I only have one. I just think it's really funny when you're on the tee, and then they're like, the guy's waiting to yeah. throw because he thinks he's going to hit the people ahead of him, and you're like, there's no <laughs> way you reach them. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you get a hold of it, there's no way. No, I'm but not he just wants to be safe. <laughs> I definitely played with someone like this at, uh, at Jonesboro, and I was like, you could throw, man. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, that but, is yeah. that's all we got for the draft. That is that concludes that. Uh, that so, was a very fun segment. That was very fun. Yeah. So let us know in the comments. But next up, Dalton, you want to take us to these uh, these teams, our, our picks that we have for winning nationals. Yeah. So uh, we wanted to go through and be like, well, what teams do we think have a good shot at winning nationals based on the courses, based on who we played with? Also, huge asterisk. We have only played technically two or three college events this yeah. year. We have not played with a lot of college teams out there, so we're kind of going off vibes, past performances, and you know overall what we think is going to happen. Yeah. We have come into this. This is almost a draft, or it's not really a draft. It's kind of yeah. just our thoughts, uh, but we do have three teams picked out each. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're kind of going and seeing what teams we like, um, and kind of what teams we think are going to perform well, besides us, of course. Yeah. I mean, we're winning. Did you put? Yeah, exactly. That's so. That's <laughs> the given situation in this. Obviously, Illini disc golf is winning by ten strokes or more. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but aside from this that, is for second place. This is yes. sure. Yes. This okay. is for rest second of the place. Podium. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> absolutely. Did Did you guys order them, or did you? Do you just I, have like I three did order them. I Here's our order. But it doesn't. I don't think it matters too right, much. That's fine. And if there's a repeat, we'll jump. We'll just jump in then. Yeah, we kind of. This is kind of more so to just talk about teams that we've either played with or that we kind of admire from a distance. Yeah. So if we have an overlapping team, we're just going to talk about that team and be like, well, we, what do we like? What don't we like? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You want to start us off? Sure. Let's see um, it. Oh. My first team that I chose, actually, if I could find the doc that I closed, uh, I chose Texas A&M. 
Yeah. So we played with them. Uh, they were really good. I think that they have everyone on their team has a forehand mm-hmm. and a backhand. They have a lot of distance. Um, and I thought their putting was just really solid. Thought so too. Um, I mean, I think like any team, it's really hard to have four top tier players, but the, you know, they have two guys in the nine eighties pushing nine nineties. Yeah. Then they have, it falls off a little bit to their next uh, two guys, but they're just such a well-rounded team and yeah. we played with them. So I-, I thought their team chemistry was really good too. Very positive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I, I completely agree. Caleb. Are we doing one like a still going on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, sure. yeah. Let's go for okay. it. All right, I have Michigan State, which is Michigan State. That's a wild one. Not, a not on my radar. Listen. So where pull them up on the on the teams rankings? What are do we are they on there at all? Yeah, they're like sixteen. They're sixteen. They're fifteenth. Okay, fifteenth. Okay, yeah, well, that um, makes sense. They only have three events. Yeah, yeah but uh, I I was looking through like just different college disc golf players, trying to see some people that interested me, and I saw uh, I believe his name is. Lewis Lloyd? Uh, Lincoln Lloyd. Lincoln Lloyd. Lincoln Lloyd. So I've actually, I've played with Lincoln before. The LL. Really good. Really good. I saw he had over yeah. a thousand uh, career earnings in MPO and, mm-hmm. you know. That's a lot. Good. Um, and I think really having that guy to, like, be able to be stable in a tournament like that where, like, there's a lot of nerves and tension and a guy who's been there before and kind of played in those kind of tournaments, it'll be good for him. Lincoln Lloyd is 984. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. I, I, so I actually played with him last year at the Great Lakes Collegiate Open, and he won that event um, as, a, as like a 950 rated player. So he's really climbing. That's, yeah, yeah, that's good he to is. see. That's really cool. He, he, yeah, obviously he's up in Michigan. Um, I see him register for a lot of tournaments that I play yeah, up yeah. there too. But. 10 wins in 36 career events. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good average. average. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for me to be really boring? Yeah. yeah. All right. NC Charlotte. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> All right. There, I mean, it's like someone's got to do it. And there, I mean, like there, there is reason for it. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at it. We got, we got Gus Jones, a 984 rated player. I have actually played with Gus Jones in the singles match play event at College Disc Golf Nationals last year. Uh, he beat me. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't close. Um, additionally, Gus Jones, Gus Jones is a big MPO player. He plays, um, let's see, he has six MPO wins which is very impressive. Um, Gus Jones also has $4,000 in career winnings. A uh, lot of good experience. You know, also on that team, you got uh, you got Liam Mc... Liam Mc... What's that? I don't see Gus Jones on this this r- rankings. You don't see Gus Jones? He's also not on the average rank, the ratings that I put together for last week's episode. Am I tripping here, man? I think so. He might not be eligible mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is that true? I mean, well, let's check well, it out. Oh. Gus Jones here. Um, We're doing on the scene research right now. Yeah. Look, I, I swear I looked it up. Gus Jones, PDGA. Let's see it. That's a high PGA number. Yeah, I mean, I wow, he's still in. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I was, I mean, yeah. Click on it, like, or, or go, go, go to teams. Make sure he is on NC Shot. That's pretty sure. But if not, that's really, that's like really embarrassing, guys. <laughs> we got some editing to do. They got, <laughs> they got some editing. <laughs> they got seventh. NCSU. Yeah, North Carolina, Charlotte, State, State. Oh. Guys, I messed up. Oh, oh. no, Dan. Uh, well, in that case, I got North Carolina State <laughs> on on my <laughs> roster, baby. Wow. Um, that's embarrassing. Bec- oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Jones, baby. I think this is the Wolf Pack. They have those really cool jerseys. Yeah, yeah, it is them. Oh. Okay. Is so that not NC? Did I Charlotte that is green. That's why oh, when I was like, okay, okay. yeah. State, so they, State's in third there. Yeah, Charlotte's gotcha. first, State's yeah. in third. Oh, they're in third. Okay, yeah, that. Then I just messed a little something. So up. Gus Jones, whatever. still a great player, nine eighty four. Oh, absolutely. I was actually thirty nine hundred dollars career earnings. I was just watching coverage of them in Cincinnati, um, and that was kind of getting me getting me going towards uh, yeah their team. So they, they've got other players on their team too. Um, currently, here's what their lineup looks like. They've got nine eighty four, nine eighty, nine seventy four, um, and then Zachary Guess is nine fifty two. A very solid weak link, um, and, and who even knows if if he is a weak link? It's it's like. He he took a fourteen point rating drop, so it's like probably maybe one just, event. Maybe he yeah, I probably just dropped it off. Um, so I've got them in my top three. That's pretty good. Yeah, you want to? Well, I think. No, oh, I didn't prep these lists. No you worries. Did we did a great job of sharing our together, information. But I, I definitely did uh, not uh, get that far ahead. And that yeah. is totally fine. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of between two teams right now. Yeah. Uh, one held the top spot for a while. Another one we're very fond of. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go Cincinnati. Um, they I, really, had, I had them on my list too. Uh, well, we can kind of tag team this conversation then yeah. because, you know, they were 
I don't know why. I, I feel like I remember this correctly, but they were number one for a long time in the fall. They were. But they didn't play a lot of events, and I think that really hurt them on their rankings. They also have the current um, number one singles player. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ilkin Grow, yeah. if I, play, if I pronounce grow. that right. Sorry if I didn't. And I think, you know, listen, they've, they've won. I think they won last year. Yes. And they won by a lot. <laughs> and with penalty strokes. Which is crazy for showing up late, I think. Yeah, yeah. and they, they have two of the same players, but I, I, the reason their rating, their ranking is lower on at 16 they is, well, it, no, it's because they did play, but they only brought three players to an event. That's crazy. They, got well, like they also haven't played in a while. Yeah. So it's it's almost like they're, it feels like they're falling off a little bit, but I think they're just kind of, they're, they're going incognito for yeah. a little bit What here. else is crazy is that their number one player, uh, Ilkin Grow, is like, not he's he's amateur world champ yeah and then their number two guy won the singles event last year tanner young yeah so it's like wow yeah that's crazy. crazy i've actually been playing like with with cincinnati for like a couple of years on and off now i remember my freshman year um we played with them at a tennessee tournament and then we played like twice with them last year so i i know jonathan is from cincinnati so he uh, he i think he knew uh calvin caldwell um but I believe I, I believe Bradley Caldwell is still on the team. Um, his little brother. So they're, they're a force to be reckoned with. I mean, just having that Nationals experience and, like, what those guys can bring back to the team from having that experience is going to be huge. Yeah. Um, I mean, their average rating is definitely up there. It's probably going to be somewhere in the high 970s, low 980s, which is just about as good as it gets in college disc golf. Yeah. And then they have, and then they have Truman Hoy, who I'm assuming they're going to pair with Ilkin. Um, yeah, about 952, so pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, and I mean, well, it's like you can pair anyone with that with your guy. Yep, you know, that's kind of how your, that works. Your top dog. Um, Cincinnati. I've, I feel like we've discussed Cincinnati before. Yeah. You have, yeah, I mean, you have any, any... That was kind of a lame pick, my bad, but... <laughs> no, man, I, I mean, we're, try, we're trying to get this right. Yeah. Yeah. For a hey, second, yeah. obviously. For, for a second, obviously. <laughs> Caleb, you, uh, you have your next pick? I do. Let's I have Missouri. Uh, this is clearly biased. I played on a, or I caddied for Dalton on a card where mm-hmm. we played with Quentin, and he was talking up his club a lot. Quentin, I remember Quentin. Oh, they won oh, twice. Did, did I play with Quentin yes, in the did. second round? Did. Yes. He's so, so I actually funny. caddied so for good. Dalton and then Dan, and he was on the card both times. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I, I Currently ranked seventeenth. Yeah, really good player. Um, and he's paired with, and then his other pay, player that he uh, played with is Jared Babrant, I think is how you say it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of started the club together uh, like a yeah. while ago. Uh, but they kind of built it all up, so this is going to be like probably their last really run of it. So I'm hoping to see them. Didn't they win Ooh. Natty's twice? I want to say. Did uh, they? I might, uh, I at know. least once I know, and I, I know, know their claims. FPO team is kind of cracked. I think. Oh really? Yeah, I'll, I'll do some that. research on the side on Missouri, but I know for a fact that they've had some uh, some great rounds. Yeah. Very nice people too. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow, Quentin. What is he? Nine eighty. Eighty-three now. Yeah, he went up two points. Ninety-three. Wow, good for Saw him. Ten twenty-six in there somewhere. So he's really a uh, good player. Yeah, yeah. A really smooth forehand. We played with him. Where did we play? Yeah. Brave the Midwest. We played. Yeah. yeah, we played blue. I played blue with him. Mm-hmm. I played blue with him as well. Actually, really. I mean, really picked well, that horse apart. Like, ooh. Oh, did they? How did they shoot on black? Let's see, uh, I'd say seventy. Seventy, which is, I mean, even uh, seven strokes feels... off. What? No, it's two up. I mean, just hover over round three. We'll see what par is. Oh, it's two up. Yeah, it's got. Well, because what do we shoot? Five down. They yeah. shot seven worse. Yeah. I guess that's not. It's not like amazing, but no. I think what happened oh, is I team. think they're kind of just aging out, and they had to bring up some you know young players who yeah. are probably still developing. Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I was looking at their Instagram when we just played with them, mm-hmm. and of course I'm not logged in. Uh, but I, they definitely, they've definitely won Natties at least once, and yeah. I know their FPO team or FA team is also very good. Um, Mizzou, Mizzou, yeah, it's very solid. Um, I I have no idea what's going on. No, you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on yes. to my next pick. Yeah. Um, I'm really I'm really not pulling out the shockers today, but ISU. Mm. Illinois okay, State. I also picked them. <laughs> yeah, so we I have mean, the same list. How can we not? They're easy to talk about. We know them. They're freaking good. Um, I think I think they've really found a groove. Uh, especially since Brave the Midwest, I think I think they've they've developed their team and like, you know, a lot of these a lot of these Mizzou's won three national championships. Mizzou's won three national championships. I, I, do, I was telling Quentin was telling us that it was nuts. Jeez, I didn't, I'm sorry, I, I had to figure that <laughs> out. No, just great, 
great interruption there, man. Yeah, um, talking about ISU, though. Very biased by us there. It, it is, <laughs> but, I mean, when you think about it, they have the power and they have the touch. They've got it, to, you know, divvied up. In my opinion, I would call, you know, Evan their power player for the Miles and Evan pair, and I would call Nathan more of their power player for the Nathan and Colin pair, even though Colin has a lot of power. What Col- you, <laughs> sounds like you want to say something, Dalton. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I think Colin, like, I his forehand's just so good that I think it takes away from how much we see his backhand. Mm. That's a good point. Like actually. Nathan throws far, but I think I think Colin's right up there with him. And I, if they have a throw off, I think it's kind of like you and Trevor. I think it's surprisingly close. <laughs> that's. Right I mean, that's fair. I mean, Evan mashes though. Like no, I'm talking no, about no, no, the I pairings. Know, I know, oh, I know, I know. But yeah, like, Evan beside that, Evan mashes. Yeah, dude. go like, watch the the Canyons coverage from our CMC DGCC coverage. Very good. Uh, well, you can see Evan you rip got some shots. It. Have you been practicing I, in the mirror like you told me? <laughs> <to>. <laughs> do, you, can, do you know how to say it, Nick? Too? Oh, I've heard you guys say it enough. I don't know if I can pull it off. Like, can you, CMC DGCC? Yeah, yeah exactly. Rattle yeah. it off. Let's, Caleb. CMC DGCC. CMC DGCC. <laughs> Let's go, like, baby. I didn't like that tone. It is no. never changing. Um, so, but, I mean, like, we're, obviously we're biased there. We play with them probably the most out of any club team. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, like, honestly, the, like, Nathan kind of coming out of nowhere. I know we commented on this during the round. Mm-hmm. Uh, but him kind of coming out of nowhere and just being, like, you know, a 970 rated, 975 rated yeah. player to be your, quote, unquote, weak link is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Um. Average rating wise, nine seventy seven point two five. Again, this is, is like this current. This is current. Okay. So this is from uh, last week, and there hasn't been a ratings right, update right, right. since. But however, they're like when you look at their rating, I don't think it really does justice to what like their team dynamic is. No, because it's not. really clumped together, which would lead you to believe that oh, they're all kind of around the same skill level. And I'm not saying that they're not, but I think they they their guy is Colin. I agree. Mm-hmm. And then they have Miles and Evan together who their their dynamic is hilarious. Um, it's, it's it's so, so fun to watch. So good. Absolutely. And then they paired Nathan with Colin and it's just there's there's no weak link on that team. There isn't. And I, I think specifically Miles and Evan work really well together. That might be the best like two, three punch in all of college disco. I, I kind of agree. Like Miles is just such a skillful he's been doing it for a while. Yes. Miles has been doing it for a lot, I believe a lot longer than Evan. Um, maybe not a lot. Evan's long. my age, and I know Miles is in last year of school. Yeah, so I, he. I mean, Miles is just smooth with it. He's mm-hmm. slow with it. He's a phenomenal putter. Yes. Um, so was Evan though. Yeah, and they. I mean, they both got all the tools. Yeah. So forehand, backhand is huge. Like, there's no bias on either one of those doubles pairings. No, there's they can not. Throw whatever they want whenever the shot calls for it, which is a yeah. huge advantage. I mean, they're they're not. They probably are. We, we tend to have the same. Uh, me and me and Trevor will tend to be paired up on the same holes that Miles and Evan are. Yeah, interestingly Which enough, makes sense. It, it makes sense, yeah. yeah. Um, but we got another we got another team to talk about here. We got. Or, I, or do you guys so have any? I, I have an extra I've, just in case. All this three happened. of my teams have been talked about. So okay. by all means, I wanted to talk about Liberty. I mean, shout out the yeah, website. No, again. absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> I, when here. I was doing the Short average out. ratings, um, they were they were tenth in the nation. However, they were coming off a win that weekend, mm-hmm. so it hadn't been adjusted yet back into the ra- rankings. And I still don't think they've updated rankings since the last time we've mm-hmm. done this. However, I think that they're going to make a huge jump. They might jump us. So they're 10th right now. We're 9th. Yeah. Illinois State is 8th. And, you know, they have a 1,000 rated guy. Yeah. They have two 960s and a 958. But they're looking at their most recent rounds. They're all going to take a considerable jump up. Are they really? Yeah. 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 So I, I think at their average rating is definitely going you know, to – I mean, we're only 0.25 ahead of them right now. I think it's definitely going to go up. So it's tough. <laughs> I mean, they're just a solid team. What can I say? And yeah. you know, anything, any clubs in those like Carolinas, Virginia area, mm. definitely have an advantage of playing more college events than like kind of the Midwest or well, West Coast. And probably just playing the Nationals courses. Oh, one hundred percent. I mean, also like the weather lately has not been good out here and we're no. going to go to South Carolina. It's going to be like the first warm round in a month. <laughs> it's it is crazy. It I is. Mean, so we'll see and it's like they just they can actually go practice the nationals courses, which I think is a huge advantage. I mean, it's a huge advantage. Not, I mean, someone's going to have that advantage. It's not yeah. like necessarily an unfair advantage, but yeah. it's like we're gonna get to play it on Tuesday. <laughs> I'll <laughs> that play is Monday. It. You will play Monday. Yeah. Everyone else is gonna play Tuesday. And it's like, what if the weather's bad that day? What if we don't get good practice that day? What you if know? it's like thirty mile an hour wind? Exactly. Like, like yeah. it's who knows. Um, Trust the game. Big advantage to the regional teams. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb, you had. One more team? Yeah, I just wanted to shout out Clemson, too. My 
have a good chance yeah. there. Yeah, Shane no, Ma- let's take a look at Clemson. Shane McCol- uh, McCollin is their best player. He's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, Discmania sponsors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, and then 960, 950, that's a good 2-3 punch as well. It is. They do have and a weak link, I will say. The, mm. But the weak link, I think, I've seen, I've looked, and he's actually... Better than the rating suggests. Yeah, exactly. That makes yeah. sense. That's interesting. I think Clemson has much more clear pairings too. Yeah. It's like you're yeah. you're gonna put the top guy with the with the nine thirteen guy. Whereas like um what was the team we were just talking about? What am I Liberty? Champion? Yeah, Liberty. I, I don't see as clear pairings there. Yeah. Yeah. ISU also like on paper it looks like a tough one, but in reality I think it's pretty obvious what you do. Yeah. That is fair. I mean honestly, if it's like as long as you're not putting too much thought towards the pairings. You can kind of just focus more on the shots you're going to throw. Yeah, because I remember we were thinking about our pairings, and it's like no matter what pairing we did, we were like, oh, that'd be a dirty combo. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, those guys are so good. We're just so we're biased. just good at this. So ball. biased. I mean, Nick, you've watched us a ton. Like, I think the pairings are pretty strong. I mean, they're solid. And I think if you've, you've noticed how they work so well on some of these courses, too. So it's like, I mean, maybe if you have a moment where it really is obvious it's not going to work, but I think so far, I mean, yeah, it just, it just seems to be yeah. the right from everything from the drives to the butts to the – the forehands, the, the backhands, when you got it all covered. Yeah. You you want to know something crazy? Last year at Nationals, we switched the pairings final round. I don't – wow. Did that instill confidence yeah, no, in we you were, guys? Yeah, no, so we were sucking. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> you would never do that. We were, we were sucking, and we were like, yeah. guys, we got to change something. I was with Jonathan um, as my partner for the entire time. I would not have done that. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, so the pairings were me and Jonathan and Trevor and Ryan, and they switched to me and Trevor and Jonathan and Ryan – that's uh, I think that's a more accurate one. We put together a better round, yeah. I was gonna say because I think you and Trevor are just kind of meant to be. We're meant to be. We're soulmates. Yeah, <laughs> just two similar of guys. But that kind of shows how pairings do matter in the rounds too. So you do no, need to yeah. put a little bit of thought. hundred yeah. percent. I mean, yeah. no, I, I think we got it right. But at the at the end of our our you know favorites for for nationals and whatnot, I was I was thinking we should uh we should discuss. What our real chances are for nationals? What us? are what are yeah like just a quick yeah, this yeah. podcast doesn't have to be all about us or anything but like goals it aspirations <laughs> so it is it is called the lineup it's called podcast but um I you know I was even wondering Nick from like an outside perspective of someone that Nick and Caleb from some people that aren't on the team like what do you guys think? <laughs> well, that's you know it's tough. Oh, that's just a big question. You're right, but. you guys have done some obviously some great research, and you're really you know you're making good points here. But then like yeah, when you're saying you're like you're within a point, you know, on some of these ratings, mm-hmm. these teams that you're calling out as best possible winners. And so um, I think even you hit it on uh, like the end. I was just just watching our coverage that just went live today for the uh, the, the, the last round. Out. Um, and and yeah, and in there it was you know even mentioned at the end like that you you've seen you can do it now. And, I, and right, like yeah. you know that attitude like even you're saying you're your last year you're going into it feeling like you're struggling the whole time and you're just yeah. throwing and you know anything into the into the wind at that point you know switch up around or switch up uh, partners so um i think you have the makings right i mean it's like any you know really you know, you, you've got uh you know the, the strength the depth or uh, you know you know each other really well yeah. obviously yeah. we've got our star we just talked about in our last podcast how like a great team is great you know or is good to have but you need to have you know that, that mm-hmm. somebody's going to put you over the top so um i think more than anything, it's going to come down to performance day of. I think yeah. you all have had some great confidence coming through the last few events, even going back to the Brave coverage and thinking about how you've done through the whole year. It's been an upward trajectory, and I think that's the kind of team you need going into a Nationals is somebody who's feeling better and better, not somebody who's maybe, you know, plateaued early in the right. year or had a hot beginning and is, is trailing off because, you know, you're all great, right? Like These are all teams that are c- going to compete. These are all people that made it here for a reason. So, um it's going to come down to, you know, the day of who's, who's feeling a little bit better, who's, you know, on it a little bit more. Yeah. Caleb, any, I mean, any thoughts on that? If you, what, like, what have you seen with the team? Like, it, do you think it has been linear? Do you think we have kind of gotten in and out or? I think, I mean, it, it goes, it's definitely gone up and down for you yeah. guys, but I think through everything, you guys have put yourself in a position to at least play for yeah. like the top couple spots, um, which I think is important. Just having that will never losing yeah. faith in each other, never losing like the will to keep shooting for birdies, which yeah. can happen if you guys don't believe in each other. Yeah, I, I but, think, but I see that belief in each other. So I, I think something that kind of made me feel less good, but also more good was now, if you haven't seen the final round of Jonesboro coverage, pause this podcast, <laughs> go <laughs> watch Spoiler it. Alert. Right. We didn't play great. No, no. but we still pulled it out. But yeah, you pulled it out. not playing great. Not a good experience, but no. keeping it together exactly. and, and still great. pulling it through. Right. I think it, I think it was important for us to see that have that struggle. Right. Um, Playing bad and still winning is a good feeling. It is. <laughs> right. It is. 
Um, and it's necessary, right? Like not every, like not everybody can string together four perfect rounds. You're going to have right. one of these rounds, the, you know, next week that are going to be rough, you know, and whether exactly. that's, you know, you were fortunate that you had the, the classic get out ahead kind of format, you know, mm-hmm. the last one where you were able to at least play with a lead the whole time. But, um, you know, again, like you never know, you know, it could be the weather, it could be the locals that know it a little bit better than you. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, at the same time, like I said, I think you've, I've seen the, the right things, you know, again, the fire in your belly when it, uh, and you get a little <laughs> bit behind, you know, the, uh, you know, having the, the little in- extra, uh, you know, again, push or, or again, picking yourselves up when you had a down right. round. So I think yeah. you've, you've shown all the makings this year to, to have the right storyline. And now it just comes to, yeah, how, how sometimes it's not just about how well you play. It's about everybody else plays too, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And I think this is a really good transition to talk about like how we think we're going to play on these courses. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Um, so there are two courses that we will be playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're starting off with singles. Which yeah. is definitely a different take than what we did. It's uh, changed the past too couple. from nationals. Is it really? It is. Right. It's always been second. Um, as I'm, far as I've played, I'm not sure how I feel about it because I feel like singles is kind of. I mean, I know it's not ma- as make or break, mm-hmm. but I feel like we can we can thrive in singles. I like getting out of the way first. I'm not That's gonna fair. lie. That's fair. Like, Very fair. It's well, it's easier to go into something with singles mentality and then go into doubles mentality rather than being in doubles mentality having to get in singles mentality than getting back into doubles mentality that's a great that's actually a great point and i think um yeah. but like looking at these courses so we're playing lakefront round one singles mm-hmm. round two and four for overall uh, rounds but they're both doubles rounds mm-hmm. will be at lakefront as well and then round three will be at westminster east so information on these courses is very hard to find yeah it it's it's like we there's no there's, there's, no, caddy there's no Jomez video that's kind of no. like, this is what you're doing. You can take a lot of it from... Uh, I mean, 8,185 feet total distance. That's a pretty long course. Yeah. It, is, it is a pretty long a course. Um, and it does look like it's just kind of... There are some, definitely some uh, USDGC holes here. Maybe some of them are a little bit shorter, but some of them look... Uh, the infamous, like, beach hole. Mm-hmm. Right, um, yeah. And, is the there, triple mando and, hole. and the triple mando and then a lot of them look pretty similar as well. Yeah. So, I don't know. I th- I really like how we stack up for this. I feel like we have a lot of line hitters and um yeah. Definitely. We don't rely as much on I think we're all very solid putters mm-hmm. and we're not going to lose our putt and I think that's a huge advantage going into here. I I agree. And I I think that these courses where there is a lot of OB, you know, I I can't say I'm in love with them for singles, but I think in doubles, it, it's really necessary because it's mm-hmm. like the the only way that you're gonna actually find yourself in trouble in these types of things. It's like Trevor shot OB. What do we do? Do yeah. I pin it? Do I lay it up? Those are the decisions that are gonna actually cause separation within teams. Um, whereas like Jonesboro, it's like great course, loved it, no complaints. But it's like there there's not much worry, you yeah. know. Where it's like this, I'm nervous. There's worry because. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever watched USDGC, the chances for large numbers are way more likely than a lot of other courses. Mm-hmm. You know, like when you play Northwoods Black, like, yeah, there's not there's not a ton of OB. You kind of just get yourself a natural OB. Yeah. Whereas here, oh, that's an OB stroke. That's mm-hmm. a hazard stroke. Yep. Oh, you don't get the distance. You have to come back. Like, huge scoring separators. Yeah. I would not be surprised to see, like, only a couple people under par. What? Oh, in singles? In singles, okay, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, in doubles, I, I'm expecting a, like a team or two to go absolutely off, but yeah. also other te- like a clean round out here is going to gain you strokes. Yeah, yeah. There's no way it doesn't. You know, I this information's probably out there somewhere, but I I am interested as to what this specific layout rates in like a single mm-hmm. setting. Yeah, Look, like holy, that, we're looking like... at it's. I think it's the par four that they play for USDGC because it is circle after circle of hazard and OB. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. So that that's gonna be fun. But. Like a lot of these are holes they play for USDGC, but like I don't, I don't think all of them. I right now they kind of look all of them like yes, but I mean there has got to be some modifications because why I, would it be called Lakefront, right, yeah, and not just exactly. Winthrop Gold? Like yeah, I mean I don't think we see the pros play this hundred ninety nine foot hole like. Do, do we? Like, I, no, they I don't change think so. the course a lot, so I think it's going to be kind of tough. I think this is the one that is, oh, the infamous. Iconic. Oh, so hole 17 is now hole 14. So right. there's definitely been Nothing some, like, switching of the. And this looks like hole 18. Yeah, so hole 15 is 18. 16 looks like. Oh, one. 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 It's one. Okay, so the order is just a little bit different. So is this just like. That looks like two. Is this just the USDGC course? Like, am I, have I been That is this crazy because for singles, I, I can really see a lot of people blowing up and. Not kind of ruining chances. Yeah, I guess it changes the mentality of like a singles round from like, you know, go shred to 
don't mess up. <laughs> don't don't throw like a, a bo- like a bogey and a double is fine. Just avoid the triple and the yeah. quadruple. Yeah, and like stuff. the big the sevens. Don't keep going over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the course that we know the least about is definitely Westminster Park East. Kind of the one I'm most excited for. I'm very excited. This one looks way more attackable. Mm-hmm. Um, depending on what T pads we're playing, I'm assuming the long. Yeah, it looks like there's some woods there. Definitely a little more wooded than probably the Winthrop uh, property. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of backhand forehand lines that I'm very curious to see how they they play out. Yeah, Some longer holes, a 903-foot par 4, which is definitely two crushes. Yeah, I like the combination of having one of the courses open and one of them more wooded. Mm-hmm. I, You know, I'm sure it came down to kind of a... Well, this is just open. Yeah, this um, is just like a hyzer. And I'm sure it came down to like a scheduling and the logistics type of thing, but like I, I really would have loved to see the two-round two round split on that. I'm not sure why it is three to one. I mean, um, if you look at the, um, I think the logistics of having so many teams is at, is crazy. Yeah. You're lo- if you yeah. look at the schedule, it's a little hard to follow because of colors, but you get it after a second. Maybe that's just me being dumb, but you can just see how many rounds they have to fit in. And there's D1, D2, D3. So, I mean, our, D, our B team is not going to play with us at all ever. No. They're going to kind of be doing the opposite of what we're doing. Yeah. So... Yeah, I guess that's. I guess maybe that. I I don't know why they moved from the previous location, but maybe it is because there was only three available courses there, and they needed more than that for this. Maybe so. for sure. And also, I know that that place is kind of hard to get to. Cell service is not the best. So and fun though, man. Yeah, it was so awesome. I also think Innova is trying to do more with college disc golf mm-hmm. as they see it grow, and I think having it at USDGC is huge. And yeah. I know it's on a university. There's parking. There's definitely oh, lodging yeah. and everything. You're only thirty minutes from yeah. Charlotte. You can fly in. Like, those West Coast teams don't have to fly and drive super far. You can fly in, and it's just a lot easier. I guess that makes sense. The Airbnbs, though, for the last year, so sick. Yeah, a little bit better than this year, I think. We had, oh, man, I won't even talk about it. You guys just get mad, but there's, like, hot tub. We were in the (laughs) mountains. It was was amazing. I was there. That's sad. Yeah. (laughs) But um, I think... We're going to try to do a little playthrough of this course. Maybe get up uh, some vlog material just to try to show. That would be great, actually. Be I think fun. it'd also be a good practice for, you know, you guys to see the course. Mm-hmm. So we get there on Tuesday. Maybe we just throw, like, a couple shots on each hole. You guys film. We'll just kind of shoot the gun. Yeah. yeah. And um, so, yeah, look out for material coming up uh, from Nationals. We'll definitely do a review. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, these courses look good. Yeah. Better than we we were definitely misled originally when we were like oh they're all super short <laughs> yeah we were confused there's I just wish there was video like I do too it's a little tough but um I think after this week there'll be video <laughs> I think yes that we know for fact there will be video so um we're doing the video if you didn't pick up on <laughs> yes we're, um I guess before before we finish it out I mean any 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 thoughts on like what what do you guys think about like filming this course or or the experience of filming at nationals. Be, it's gonna be awesome. I cannot <laughs> wait for some iconic yeah. holes out here. No, there like, are right. I'm really interested to see like how they film and like what the angles are. Yeah, yeah. I'm super hyped to be there with other film crews. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be picking their right. brains the whole time. That's I'm gonna be watching what they do. I mean, I think it's you know if we're gonna elevate this crew, we got to see what the pros are out there doing. And I think that's the um, you know the thing that I was most hyped about when we got the response back that they said they were okay with us coming out and recording. And they said that, yeah, if you guys get on the lead card and they're doing lead card coverage, we can, you know, get right down there with their team as well and, and yeah. uh, you know, Let's shoot do that. from their, their, you know, <laughs> their pockets and everything. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a I said, really exciting to work with those other groups and see how they do it. And then, of course, the courses sound amazing. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, do you know it's Gatekeeper Media and who? I'm not, I'm I'm not sure, sure, actually. Is PDGA well, itself jumping back in? Do they, they do. It is a PDJ major, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you look, if you actually pull up the page, it's like, yeah. Oh, PJ Major, like official logo kind of stuff. So that's very, very cool, man. So yeah, we said we could today. use their graphics and everything oh, and their commercials. Today? That's awesome. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool. So, so cool. yeah, we from today will be probably like just hanging out after playing a round of dubs and singles. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Be a good time. So be sure to keep an eye out for that stuff. Um, any last comments? My thoughts? Well, I'll do some Ooh, shout yeah, outs. Yeah, yeah, shout, shout Are we, are are we in the up. shout outs and the thank yous portion? I think it's of the a thank yous and a shout are out. We, the, our Midwestern goodbye. <laughs> our Midwestern <laughs> if goodbye. One might say, we'll, we'll get that going. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I saw you added the official. I yeah. thought that was cute. That was yeah. awesome. Shout out to Nick for those editings, right? Shout out, that Nick. Really That's great. our first thank you. That thank is you, our Nick. first thank you. That's always, it's the easy, it's the one I always remember. <laughs> for giving us right there. And apologies to Nick for not sharing the doc with him fast enough. That was all right. 
Uh, I think it worked out pretty decent. Yeah. But um, he he put together a mean passive aggressive playlist for the for the 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 draft. I don't he, I don't want to play with draft, Nick anymore. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so many nice. I can't have like without oof. an oof on me. Yeah, it was disgusting. Would, would go off <laughs> at Dodds, the oof at Dodds. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for the space. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, shout out Siebel Center for Art and Design, which you are the blank up. Yeah, Siebel Center for Design. I'm the Associate Director of <laughs> Operations and Experience. Did not remember that title, but... We, we need an acronym for that one. Yeah. <laughs> we got to acro- acro- acronymize things. everything. Acriminize, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then shout out, or thank you to TriFox Disc Golf. Yeah. Um, you can use the code DaltonH10 for 10% off any order. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, that club is also going to get a little bit of kickbacks from that. So if you want to support, that's one way. Also, uh, Illini Disc Golf Club, uh, we're all members of it. Uh, we do have a website. We do have merch up. Um, so you can also support us through that. The other way to support us is by liking, subscribing, hit the bell, hit the bell, 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 bell again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, comment, comment. Oh, also you have to you have to rank our what you thought our teams were doing. Exactly. They who had the best. So they're team. already yeah, commenting. Yeah. 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 So comment twice. Uh, but yeah. So I think. That- I think we've come to the end of the Midwestern goodbye. Awesome. <laughs> oh, last no, thank you. Good. Thank you to you for watching. <laughs> so. Yes, thank you to you for watching. Awesome. And we'll catch you in the next one, which should be at Nationals. Are we going to film one at Nationals? Well, the vlogs. All right, yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. sure. Well, yeah. the, the next podcast will be the week after, kind of talking about, you know, our awesome win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just, like, really exactly what it took, retelling the story. Oh. Yeah, but honestly, it's going to be a fun experience, and we're all very excited. So. Yeah, we are. Awesome. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next one.